Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you to evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n times a summation from k equals 1 to n of 7k all over n uh, all squared. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try to pull out terms from the summation that don't involve k. And then we're going to simplify the summation using rules, uh, properties of summation or rules for simplifying things inside of a summation. And then finally, we're going to evaluate the limit. So first, we're going to go ahead and pull out terms from the summation that don't depend on k. So as you can see here, we have this entire thing squared. And that means that we square the numerator and we square the denominator. So we can simplify this as uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n times a summation <clears throat> from k equals 1 to n. So we square the numerator. So we have 49, 49 k squared all over n squared. So what we can do now is we can pull out an n from the denominator. So we can pull out a 1 over n squared. Uh, and we can pull it out because it does not depend on k. OK, so we pull out a 1 over n squared. And so we have a limit as n goes to infinity. So when we pull out a 1 over n squared, we end up with uh, 1 over n cubed. And we can actually pull out the 49 as well, because it's just a constant and it doesn't depend on k. So we're going to end up having in the numerator here 49 all over n cubed, because we had 1 over n times 1 over n squared is 1 over n cubed. <clears throat> and this is all times uh, the summation of what remains, which is k equals 1 to n of k squared. So now we know that we have the summation from n, uh, k equals 1 to n of k squared, which can be simplified um, using the following. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 49 over n cubed. And the summation simplifies down to n, uh, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. So we can go ahead and multiply out these terms here. So we can just combine all the like terms in the numerator. And then you'll get the limit as n goes to infinity of 49 over n cubed, all times um, we end up having uh, n squared. We multiply the n by n plus 1. And then we have uh, n squared plus n times 2n plus 1 all over 6 here. And so then we can go ahead and simplify that uh, a couple steps further and then take the limit. OK, so what we end up getting here is uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of 49 over n cubed. And when we multiply the numerator, we're going to end up getting um, 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n all over 6. So finally, I'm just going to erase this down here so we can have some continuity. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that larger fraction we have, all times uh, 49 over n cubed. So we multiply by 49 over n cubed, and we get the limit as n goes to infinity. Uh, so 2 times 49, we're going to get 98 n cubed plus 3 times 49 is going to be 147. n squared plus 49 times 1 is just 49 n, all over 6 n cubed. So in order to take the limit, we can go ahead and see we have a highest power of n cubed in, uh, here and a highest power of n cubed here. So in case you can't see, we can just divide the numerator and the denominator. Or we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 over n cubed. Um, so we multiply everything by 1 over n cubed. And we end up getting the limit as n goes to infinity. So uh, 98, time, 98 n cubed divided by n cubed is just 98. 147 n squared divided by n cubed is 147 over n. And uh, 49 n divided by n cubed is 49 over n squared. And finally, in the, in the denominator, 6 n cubed divided by n cubed is going to be 6. OK, 
Okay, so we take the limit as n goes to infinity of each of these terms, and if, uh, if you don't see it already, we, can simpli we could simplify this out, this fraction out into 98 over 6 plus 147 over 147 times 6 over n or whatever, and um, that we take the limit as n goes to infinity, or if you can see this right now, we have a 98 over 6. Uh, all of these terms here are going to go to 0. These two terms here are going to go to 0. And we have the limit as n goes to infinity of two terms, uh, one term that does not depend on n, which is 98 over 6. So it's going to end up equaling 98 over 6, which when we simplify that out, is going to end up equaling 49 over 3, which is going to be our final answer here. So that's it for this week's problem of the week. For more problems, uh, for more problems of the week, you can see our problem of the week playlist here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click this link here and to visit us at centerofmath.org. Click this link here. Thank you for watching.